Hi, are you trying to stream to TikTok from TikTok Live Studio and it's not working very well? I'd give you a little bit of a hint. Please don't use TikTok Live Studio. It's not the best thing. Use OBS Studio and then use a virtual camera to send it to TikTok Live Studio. I'll show you how it's done. Now that you're in your OBS, you've probably got all your scenes, all of your um, stuff to do with your sources as well as that down the bottom. What we can do with this is that we can add a new profile in. So if you go to profile new, you can call this vertical because that's what we're doing. And we will only be using this for a virtual camera. It will then only give you the certain settings and then we can press apply. What I then do is go down to your settings down the bottom. We will now override this. So we will go to your video settings. Now at the moment it's horizontal, which is 1920 by 1080. We are going to switch this around, which is in your Dropbox, to 1080 by 1920. So instead of horizontal, it's vertical, which is kind of cool. Um, so once you click off of that, it will automatically change your out output, your um, resolution. But I would change this to a 60 frames per second, just to double check. There's also, just as a little bonus, if you go to output, I normally make sure that my streaming software just has 8000 on it. So it's high enough, it's higher than what Twitch and um, TikTok recommend. For this, it shouldn't matter, but I just like to do that anyway. But the other thing which is kind of cool is that I would also take your enable replay buffer because this allows you to set a hotkey or a stream deck button to do a quick snapshot of the last 30, 60 seconds. However, I would also recommend you have a double check of what your gpu is like for that because if you it does take up video memory and that may be it may push it over slightly especially if you're using a older computer or you're using a quite a new game anyway once you've done that you press apply you've got your obs you can set this up as normal you can set your video capture you can set your game capture you can set all sorts of what you want to do but that's what you're going to do once you finish setting all of that up you can start your virtual camera which is you press down the bottom i'd also if you want to make sure that you are if you haven't if it takes your scenes over as well i'd also create a new scene collection call it probably the same just remember that you haven't lost all your scenes it's just in a separate thing a separate collection that means that you keep everything separate so once you change one you have to change both of them back but then it doesn't bring all of them across you don't go ah, i've broken everything um that's quite a good thing to do. So once you started your virtual camera, I'd also open up the settings, double check what your output settings and your output selection is. Um, internal means that you're producing something which is like your, um, it's gonna output your preview. So whatever you change your scene to, or whatever you change that to, it will automatically change it as well on your TikTok. If you wanted to though, you can change it to scene. So it will literally only output one scene which can be useful, can be not. So once you've done that, head on over to TikTok Studio. Now that you're in TikTok Studio, you've actually got the simplest task yet. You just have to add a scene, add a source, which is all down the left-hand side here. And then you just have to, so once you're in the camera, you just have to add a camera, scroll down to OBS Virtual Camera, click on that, and it should appear within here.